Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again, and today we're back here on the Aberration. Hopefully you guys are having a good one today. My day is going pretty darn well. We're still a little bit chilly here in the new house, but uh, we're not doing too bad. Uh, we've got the heaters going, and it's it's about 58, 60 degrees in the house right now, uh, when outside it is currently... 14 so you know I, i'd say we're doing not bad not bad at all hopefully uh by wednesday we'll get our heat or gas turned on and we will be good to go but until then you know we're just gonna have to keep going with it and you know eventually we'll get the uh the heat that we want and we'll be good to go uh we set up a little bit of my office uh, i'm not quite done yet i do have a little bit more to go uh, and then I'll be giving you guys a bit of an office tour. And then once we do that, um, I am starting to work on those lore videos as well. And uh, we'll be able to do that as well. I am going to do a lore series uh, all the way from the island uh, up to Aberration. And if there's any lore on other maps like Ragnarok or the center, uh, I wouldn't mind trying those out. But I know they're probably not canon. So I'm not 100% uh, not on whether or not we'll get to those. There we go. We have get a new shotgun. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be doing some building today. That's right, some building. I've got some glass walls and I've got some metal walls that we're going to be messing with. Um, we named our drakes on stream. So I got Mirage, Kieran, and uh, I got Thrall over there as well. Uh, so let me go ahead and grab a portion of these walls and then let me go ahead and grab a portion of these walls and we'll kind of see how we go. Um, I would like to go ahead and throw a couple in there and then just like that, uh, I think from that we'll kind of throw those in. So yeah, if you guys haven't actually seen this, uh, this was a, a little project that I was working on for myself uh, right before I moved and I was just kind of getting everything set up. Um, I just really wanted to do a cliff base that kind of had some pretty awesome views and I think we really got that. I think there are a lot of really awesome views uh, with this base and I think that's pretty awesome. <laughs> like I said, you know, it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and I want to make sure that I can place these in the correct spot that is not the correct spot. Uh, da -dun -dun -dun. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Um, it is not the easiest thing lining these up when there's so many connection points. See, that one's not even registering. Yeah, see, weird. Yeah, it's not even registering as a other snap point. I wonder why that is. Oh, is this a ceiling? Mm, yeah, that one's a ceiling when the rest of these... Our foundation. Oh no, that's a ceiling. That's a ceiling. That's super weird. Why? Why would they not want to? Oh no. They were doing it just there for a second. What the heck? Is that it? Nope. That's way too far in. I'm like, oh, there we go. Yeah, that worked. Cool. And then we'll see if we can't do the same thing with this one. Get it get it real close in there. Okay, let's try it from a different angle. Nope, that one went up. Hmm. That's not annoying at all. Well, I might just leave that one just for a little bit. I will I will come back and I will fix that. Let's go ahead and put those up. And then I want to put my glass walls up here like so. Make sure to do that one and that one. And then we'll do some glass walls over here. Uh, these walls are actually... I don't think I'm going to do like full walls through there. I think we're going to put up a couple more vaults. Uh, and then those will be good. Uh, let's go ahead and add a few more walls there and there, and then we should go ahead and throw some of those in, and we're good. It sounds like my dog's barking at something. Um, yeah, we should be able to go there, there, 
And then I, I want to do like a regular wall there in the middle. Hmm. All right. Looking good. And then right up here, I think we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to kind of block those in and we should be good. Now, I'm going to need a bunch more different things. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a quick break. Uh, go and get some more. Um, well, I need a couple of foundations, a couple more ramps, a ton more ceilings. And uh, we should be good to go. All right, all of the crafting I've been doing, I've gained a level. So let's go ahead and I think I'm going to continue to bump my weight here. We learned the Quetz platform saddle. I think we're really close. Yeah, one more level to get that riot gear. And I'm going to be super, super, super happy about that. So uh, as I've been going through here, I've just been um, adding in the ceiling and then down here, I've done the ceiling. This one's going one way. This one's going another. We have these kind of runways through here, which I am going to kind of block off in a different way. I think that's going to look good. Uh, we'll run these pillars all the way up to the top. That way it's not so strange. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and take out one of these walls. Uh, so that I can go ahead and just switch that to stairs and have a ramp up. And I think this is going to be kind of an outer layer, maybe uh, maybe protection or something. Uh, like a place to park some of our bigger dinos and whatnot. I'm not 100% sure uh, just yet, but let's go ahead and take a peek. Um, I am looking for a door frame. Is this the same one? Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't have a door frame, so I don't know. Am I even going to be able to? I guess if I do this, like so, I can actually bring that down. And we should be good there. And then do that. That should look fairly decent through there. Now, it is a little cramped. Like, a lot, I usually like to do uh, pretty high ceilings in my bases. And this time I'm doing a, a fairly low ceiling. And I think I'm going to have a lot of outer stuff as well. Like um, the uh, industrial forge is so big that I think it almost needs to go outside with the rest of this stuff. But I also want to add on different modules to this base as well. Uh, like right out here. I want to have an elevator go all the way up and down from right here, kind of like we have in the other base. I want to eventually tear that one down or make um, another elevator so that we, we can go up and down. And Z can still use that one over there uh, for his stuff if he would like. Uh, this is not doing any damage to our base or anything weird like that, so that's good. Uh, we do have some rocks, so let me go ahead and see if I can't bust some of these out. And of course, the earthquake is moving me. Stop moving me, earthquake. Uh, let me drop those. Did I actually damage my own base? No, no, no. I guess you can't damage metal really with a metal pickaxe, so that's that's pretty good. Ah, man, the amount that this place is shaking is. It's aggravating. All right, let me take a look here real quick. I want to see glass. Is there a glass half wall? Yes, there is a glass half wall. Um, I might need to go and make a few of those because that would actually look pretty good in here, I think, if uh, if I wanted to uh, run half walls through there. I was going to do metal railings, but I think glass half walls might look pretty good, too. All right, so let's go ahead and start throwing some things in. I just went through and did all of the windows uh, the way that they should. I don't have a transparency gun over here, which I would love to have, but I don't. Uh, but yeah, all right, so let's go ahead and start throwing in some of these glass half walls, just like so. And you can select the model. Oh, so you can actually pick sides, okay. So I could kind of make it look like that. How does that look, actually? That's not bad, actually. I'm not mad at it, but I, you know what? I kind of think I like it up on that ledge just a little bit more. It's not quite as bad. Uh, looks like they want us to log out for a mod update, which I will have to uh, just go ahead and place these here for just a quick minute. Um, and then, like I said, just kind of placing all of these up here 
should be good to go. Yeah, come on, snap in there properly. Just like that. Cool. And three sides, A, B, C. Yeah, all right. So we'll do Bs on all of these, and that'll just kind of make it look a little bit better. And then I'm going to add a bit of transparency to all of these because uh, I think they work pretty well uh, with the transparencies in my mind. I, th I just think it kind of makes it look a little bit better. I, I don't know why. I just, I do. Uh, so let me keep going here. It's B like that. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And then we can go ahead and add in some of these pillars so that way we can get uh, just some consistency with the rest of our build here, just like so. And I think that's coming along. I think that's coming along real well. So let me go ahead and log out for this update and I'll bring you guys back once I get a little bit more built. Ah, there. There's that one, that one, and okay, time to go. All right, so doing a little bit more through here, I wanna go ahead and head up to the roof and make sure that we get a few more things done up here as far as like blocking stuff off. Do wanna make sure that I stay up high, so I wanna make sure my camera is up fairly high. There we go. It, uh, it doesn't always work, but it definitely helps when trying to keep this stuff up. Uh, if you keep your camera just kind of on that edge of uh, where it needs to be placed, sometimes it doesn't work and sometimes you just have to hit Q. But again, sometimes it does and, it, and then it works fairly well. So let's kind of uh, keep heading around here like so. And we're looking fairly good. I'm actually, I'm, I'm liking metal m more and more. I really, the first time I built with metal, I wasn't a big fan. And trying to figure out how to get it to work and look good properly was hard for me. Because, um, you know, I have messed with wood and stone and stuff like that before. And had very little issues with making it look good because you can actually combine the things and, and give it contrast and whatnot. And I think with metal, um, especially with the metal and glass, that helps a lot. But you also, you wanna put a lot of textures or a lot of colors in and stuff. And I think, I think a metal base by itself doesn't look that great, but I think a metal base that's painted with a little bit of tint in some of the glass and you know that sort of thing, I think can look a lot better. Uh, as far as everything is concerned. And I love bases with nooks and crannies everywhere like this. Uh, we're going to have something up here. I haven't decided what yet, but we've got a couple of metal nodes up there. We're eventually going to have an elevator that goes all the way down. Oh, gosh. That thing scared me. Hold on. we got to go get our, our Drake. That thing really, like, legitimately scared me. Wow. I, I actually jumped when that thing came, <laughs> came out of nowhere. Uh, but, yeah. So I think we are looking pretty good. Now, the front of the base is not looking that great. I need to do something a little bit more grandiose to uh, to make sure this kind of sticks out as the front. But I also need to do a bunch of transferring of materials. So I think I'm going to go ahead and load up my drake, uh, load up my basilisks and bring them over and bring up my vaults and get as much stuff transferred as I can.
All right, guys, we've got most everything transferred over. Not quite everything, but most everything transferred over. Uh, this, uh, let me go ahead and move that. Uh, I've got two vaults full, and then I've got another one that's like 120 parts full. Uh, I got my refrigerators, which I actually need some food, so let me grab some of that. And it's not bad. I've got this little area up here, which is a nice uh, kind of like cooking area. Got my fridges, got my cookers. I've got the industrial grill. Uh, I've got my four vaults down here, which can't quite fit another one in there. So I'm not too worried about it. I think if I ever get more stuff than this, um, that's a lot of stuff. So up here, we got our crafting station, our chemistry bench, our smithy industrial grinder our fab um if there is anything else that i'm not thinking of i'm sure i will find places for it it shouldn't be too bad for me but if i kind of scroll through yeah nothing right there um plenty of materials to kind of get into some other stuff there's a remote keypad a feeding trough which i will go ahead and put down let's see la 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 any more stuff some electrical outlets. We can put down another fridge if we want. We can do some lighting. We can do another bed. Uh, la, 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 la. Uh, what else is there? Kind of look through this one real quick. Bunch of hide, chitin, bunch of other materials there. I've got a ton of refrigerators, a ton of these uh, storage boxes, these metal storage boxes. Got a good amount of those. Uh, yeah, I think... I think I do need to set up some new um, uh, farm plants, but once I get those set up, we should be pretty good. Uh, I just probably am gonna just set those up on the roof. And then, like I said, should be, should be pretty good with that. All right, that'll be a little bit of meat for that. Um, I've got uh, the farmer set up. I've got the item collector set up. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna put some, some crop plots up here and everything. And then I think we'll be pretty good for the time being. I've got another platform over there that I haven't decided what to do with yet. Um, I still can fill this area out just a little bit if I want to. We can put this like right there if we want. I, I'm not sure about that just yet, but it's there for the time being if we need. And then another bed that we can go ahead and take up and put up here. Let me see if I can get it aligned properly. Looks pretty good. Let me just kind of maneuver it closer. Just like that. We can go ahead and rename it. Drax Bed. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I think we're looking pretty darn good over here. I'm, I'm very happy with it. I uh, do want to do some transparency stuff with with these, like maybe even a 15 update. Oh, wait, uh, 0.25 update. Yeah, just kind of a, a 0.25, I think, will actually make a heck of a difference when it comes to this window. 0.25, 0.25. Like so, and right up here, like this. 0.25 update. Yeah, that just kind of makes it look a little bit less, I don't know, just a little bit too clear. You know, like those Windex commercials where the birds fly into the windows because they, they think it's too clean? Yeah, I think that just makes it just opaque enough to where it's not bad. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up there, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you for hanging out with me. And I will see you guys in the next episode.